Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here at Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 44. In today's episode, we're going to evaluate a patient who's reporting sudden hearing loss and fullness in their ear. As we look in this ear, we can see absolutely why they're experiencing both of those problems. They've got a severe wax impaction, it looks like the ear canal is completely occluded, and the earwax is the consistency of jelly. As we use the curette, we move right through that earwax and it gives no resistance. It's also not staying together, coming out in a large chunk. So what we're going to be doing today is using both the curette and irrigation. And as we use the curette, our goal is to put a hole in the wax to allow the water to get behind the earwax and push it away from the eardrum. We're going to start here on the upper left hand side and see if we can't remove the wax getting us a hole so the water can get back there. Now since this patient reported reduced hearing, it made me think of some did you knows and some information that we can present regarding volume. Now obviously when you're exposed to really loud noise, it can definitely cause hearing loss. So if you're going to concerts, shooting ranges, or any other really noisy place, you should definitely be wearing hearing protection. But is there anything else that would work? Well. When you go to a concert, sitting further from the stage will allow the sound to be softer. The actual sound coming out of the speaker isn't softer, but since volume and distance are inversely related, in other words, the further you are from a sound source, the softer that sound will be to you, the more you can protect your hearing. It sounds like common sense, but a lot of people don't realize it. Okay, now that we've used the water to get some irrigation, you can see a color change in the earwax. We're gonna use the curette along the roof of the ear canal to peel this wax and dead skin away from the ear canal wall. And now that we've done that, we actually have a view of the eardrum. So we're gonna use the curette to try to remove this wax in a large chunk to see if we can't finish the wax removal and relieve the pressure in the patient's ear. At this point, they've already reported increases in hearing, which is definitely a good thing. And that wax removal is now done. There's the eardrum. We got an absolute ton of wax out of this patient's ear. They're very happy and we did not cause any discomfort for the patient. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching Earwax Removal Vlog number 44. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.